To identify the posterior aspect of the glenohumeral joint line, we're going to use the angle of the acromion as a bony landmark. To identify that, if you remember, you come up the spine of the scapula, moving laterally until you find the angle of the acromion. It's three, about three centimeters medial to that is where you have the joint line. So, and then it's a line which is about three centimeters concave laterally. I'll draw that on. And that's where the joint line would lie. I'm going to palpate the anterior aspect of the glenohumeral joint. So we've already identified the coracoid process by palpating along the clavicle. And where it is concave, you drop off that and we're onto the coracoid process. Using the coracoid process as a bony landmark, just lateral to that is where we start. And it's three centimeters concave laterally. So it's a line about three centimeters concave laterally. I'm going to draw that on. And that's the direction of the joint line.